Welcome back, everyone. Summer is the perfect time to soak up the sun with our animal friends at Zoo Atlanta. Assistant Curator of Ambassador Animals, Rebecca Young, is here to talk about the season's events at Zoo Atlanta. And of course, she's brought along a very special, colorful friend. <laughs> Who do we have here, Rebecca? Hi, this is Cortez. Cortez is a blue and yellow macaw. Yeah, he hey, buddy. is just beautiful. Now, by the way, a couple months ago, a viewer wrote in and said, how come you don't ever interact with the animals? Well, <laughs> it's not for lack of wanting to. Let's just put it this way. Uh, there, there might be a memo, like, don't let that Atlanta and company know. Back in the day, Rebecca, somebody let me have a hold a tarantula. Yeah. But, you know, she says with Cortez, he's... He can fly and he's got a big beak and I just better admire from afar. Yeah, so if you, um, I'm gonna give him that almond that we would need a nutcracker to get into and he's just in one small snap. That almond's wide open and he's in the middle of it. Nice. So yeah, that's not a beak we mess with. No, we do not. <laughs> no, we do not. Okay, so how old is Cortez? How big will he get? Cortez is full grown. He's 27 years old. <gasps> yeah. Wow, he um, looks great for his age. Right? Yep. Uh, these birds are full size by the time they're two years old, and they can live to be 50, 60, or even 70 years old. Wow, that yes. is incredible. And I know there is so much to do and see, not just Cortez. Uh, this is definitely the time to get out to the zoo, um, enjoy it with your family. Uh, we're going to just hit on some of the great things you want to profile here. Uh, first of all, Splash Fountain. That's one of the big hits with the kids. Yep. So tell us more about that. Yeah, Splash Fountain opened a few years ago. There's kids having a good time. Make sure you bring your swimsuits and a towel because you will get wet, and it's a great way to cool down while you're at the zoo. Absolutely. And then what is it, the um, the treetop adventure? That looks yep. so much fun. Yeah, so treetop trail has 20 challenging elements to it, culminating in the sky rail zip line. So really fun um, experience for kids and adults alike. And also this summer we have um, our new season at the World of Wild Theater where you can see Cortez and his feathered friends. Awesome. And, and <laughs> there's little Salito there. Cute. And at our Amy's Tree Theater, we've got our uh, summer season starting soon with America's Next Top Zookeeper. Oh, I love that. Now wait, who gets to name these animals? Because I, I know years ago with the pandas, my girls and I got involved, but they picked like like, you know, Amy and Beth. I was like, <laughs> I don't think that they're gonna choose those names, but who gets to be involved? Uh, it depends on the animal. So uh, Cortez, he came to the zoo 26 years ago. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know who named him. Yes. Um, but yeah, sometimes we involve the zoo visitors through social media. Sometimes it's keepers um, that get to name the animals. Aww. It just kind of depends. It kind of depends. Well, they always have very cute original names. And let's talk about summer camp. You know, a lot of parents were working and it's sort of a juggle, you know, dealing with what to do with the kids right, in the summers. Right. So yeah. you have a great camp. Yeah, so summer safari camp started yesterday, runs through August 3rd, and every week is a different theme. So you can sign your kids up for a week of camp, you can sign them up for many weeks of camp, and each um, each theme is science focused, so they're having a really so good great. time, but they're learning while they're there as yeah, well. Yeah, it's so great. And then tell me about this Art Gone Wild. Yeah, Art Gone Wild, again, something we've been doing for a few years now. Um, there's um, some artists, look, they're gonna come during Paint Out Week, which is uh, June 4th through 8th, and they're gonna be painting outside picking their animal muses and painting um, lots of actually not just painting but um, some sculpting or um, pencil drawings um, whatever art medium they want to use now um, there is a clothesline sale the fifth through eighth so as they're sketching out there in the zoo you can actually purchase some of the sketches that they make mm -hmm. yeah that's yes, true exactly I don't think you would buy any though Cortez you yeah. have no money oh yeah no. <laughs> but we but we would buy pictures of you that's, that's for right. sure okay any newly arrived animals we need to know about everybody gets excited about the little babies. That's right. So we actually added a new species to Zoo Atlanta just a few weeks ago. We have three alpacas. Uh, Smurf, there's Tuscany oh, right there. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Which are some, some pretty adorable additions. So cute. <laughs> Yeah. That is awesome. And then, of course, update us on the pandas. How are they doing? Pandas are doing well. Uh, they're 20 months old now, so they're bamboo Cute. eating machines. Are they really? Yeah. It's so fun to see, too. Yeah. Like, when it's feeding time for them, I mean, they are just adorable. Yep. They're just as picky as their parents, smelling each bamboo piece to no. see, is this one that I want to eat or not? So, oh, my yep. gosh. Yeah. You're like, really, guys? Come <laughs> on, dive in. Yeah. All right, and then I love this program that you're doing that we can all get involved in with very little cost. It's actually called Quarters for Conservation. Tell me more about that. Yeah. Quarters for Conservation is actually built into your admission. So when you get a ticket to the zoo, you are giving 25 cents 
directly to a field conservation project. So 25 cents of every admission ticket goes to a conservation project each year. We select different projects to support. This year we've got a project supporting lions, um, FUSA, and the drill. Aww. And uh, drill monkeys, Zoo Atlanta is the only place in the United States right now where you can actually see drill monkeys. Wow. So really cool and really good for, oh, hi buddy. Oh. Really good <laughs> yeah. for us to, uh, to be able to support those animals and conservation efforts in the wild. Oh, how cute. Cortez is like, I'm going to get close yeah, to you. Yeah, he does. He wants to get now, closer. Tommy, in the commercial break, she said that um, his fluffy feathers meant that he was feeling good, happy. Yeah, yeah. So these sounds that he's making, these are all kind of happy, contented, grumbly sounds that he's making. And those fluffy feathers let me know that he's comfortable. Ooh. Now, this is and a good example. Yep, this is a good example of why parrots don't make good pets for most people. Um, you can make quick work of your dining room table. Oh. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, thank you so much, as always, Rebecca. If you want to see Cortez or any of the awesome animals at Zoo Atlanta, uh, the best place, would you say, to, to get tickets is still do it online, right? Go online and try to arrive early because uh, parking can sometimes be limited. So if you can get there right when we open at 930, um, good time to get there and good time to see all of our new animals, including our new baby animals awesome. as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. As always, bye, Cortez. Can Thanks for dropping by. Can you say you got to go? <laughs> He's like, nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, visit zooatlanta.org for all the fun that could be had this summer long.